What is up guys? Hope you guys are doing well. Look who's with me today. Hi guys. My pops, we are here at our favorite location closer to home, Lido Creek. You guys know I love this place. And the last time I was here, my dad wasn't with me. He was, uh, unfortunately he was at the hospital, but I told you guys he would be back. This guy fully recovered, as you can see, coronavirus free. Hi dad. Yeah, and I want to thank you guys for, for okay. your prayers. That's awesome. So when I saw the video, I cried. You, you, uh, you know, I saw all of you guys somewhere pray for your dad, and that uh, was a huge response. So yeah, I, I, I appreciate it, and I uh, thank you guys for thank you for uh, you know all your prayers. So what are we gonna do today? We're gonna do some off-roading. We're gonna eat the food that you couldn't eat last time. Yeah. We're gonna eat some good food. We're just gonna enjoy the outdoors. This is what it's about, guys. So enough said. Let's get into it. <laughs> Check it out guys, so as I'm cooking, my dad's over there exploring. <laughs> this guy's probably living the life, I mean, it's trippy. And when I say it's trippy, I mean it's really trippy because this guy was in a hospital bed, what, three weeks ago, four weeks ago? It's been a long time. So to finally be able to hang out with him and uh, just be out here and He's having a blast. I mean, he was like, hey, I'll be back. I'm gonna go explore. There's a little creek. For those of you guys that are familiar with Lytle Creek, there's a creek that runs pretty much all along the mountain. And uh, he heard the water and I looked back and he's gone. So I figured it's probably down there. And sure enough, as you saw, having a blast. So for today's meal, as you can see here, we do have some red bell peppers, some potatoes, some asparagus. Uh, we're gonna be cooking some rice. This is uh, pretty much organic white rice and it's instant so you can just put some water heat it up and it's good to go and uh, we also bought some salmon my dad loves salmon so nice and fresh unseasoned we're gonna season it ourselves. and uh, man check out this bloodline though it's brutal we're gonna have to cut that out I'm not a big fan cut this out but it's fresh we can probably even make some couple slices of sashimi but uh, I'm excited let's get cooking so we're gonna start with the rice nothing fancy For those of you guys that are familiar with rice especially instant rice all it takes is a little bit of water get the rice put it right on top You guys can find instant rice at your local Walmart, Seder Bros, and saves a lot of time. So for the salmon, it does have a small little bloodline. And I'm going to be removing it. You want to cut it at an angle so you don't waste so much. And uh, some people like it, some people don't. But for the most part, I know I don't. I don't think my dad either. All 
right. Bloodline out. Nice clean piece. We're gonna season it and put it in the grill. I'm gonna put some garlic on it. A generous amount because garlic and fish is the perfect mixture. Flip them over. These are probably the spices I use the most. You might be thinking, George, you always use the same thing. Well, I narrowed it down to garlic, salt, and pepper for that perfect dish and that perfect flavor. So, that's just what I use. And then obviously, a little bit of pepper. Use some small little lines, small little slices. You don't want to go all the way through because keep in mind, once you grill it, it is going to want to flake. And the reason why I'm doing this is so we can add a little bit of soy sauce. That way, it kind of marinates inside the fish. that on top just like that and it's ready to go remember that fish is not like meat it will cook really fast we're gonna give it some love put a little bit more soy sauce and I can already smell it it's gonna be really good All right, so I'm gonna have my dad go down this little steep technical area. Not too crazy, but I'm sure it's gonna be crazy for my dad, so we're gonna get his blood going, so. There he goes. Va a bajar la llanta de atrás. Dale, you're good. A la, a la derecha. <laughs> no, acá. <laughs> My dad. <laughs> Man, guys, it feels so good to be back. Not only because I'm here, but because my dad is with me. And uh, as you saw, we did cook a pretty bomb meal. This guy was just feasting. And uh, we're gonna go down to the creek. We're gonna just park the truck. Just hang out for a while. As far as today, my dad and I don't have a curfew. So we're gonna just hang out, have a good time, hang out by the water. I'm gonna see if I can convince this guy to get in. I don't think so, but uh, we'll see. Did you bring your Speedo today, Pa? This is... Speedo? Yeah. You don't know what a Speedo is? No. <laughs> los que usan para, para las Olimpiadas, para los nadadores. Oh. <laughs> Alright, 
So since my dad doesn't want to get in, he said that he'd be willing to drive the truck through the creek. I think he just wants to do it. <laughs> so he's gonna go grab the truck and he's gonna go through the creek, probably make a U-turn. I said a creek through the creek. That's funny, guys. He was like, nah, I'm not down to get in there. You're crazy, it's too cold, but I am down to drive the truck through the creek. So I'm gonna let him be a kid and just, you know, let him go through the creek and just have fun. So thank you guys so much for all your prayers again. Like I said, it feels so good. And I can't stop telling you guys that. It feels so good to have my dad back and to be where we are meant to be in the outdoors. And uh, for those of you guys that are watching, Thanks so much for always watching. Let's watch this guy pretty much drive this thing down. All right, there he comes like a little kid. <laughs> I'm so proud of this guy for even coming out here with me. And you know, he's still on medication, but he's out of the quarantine. So that's all that matters. But there he comes. Look at this guy. Dude, that looks so sick. <laughs> He's dipping, he's dipping, he's dipping. <laughs> You're like a little kid, Dad. <laughs> Dale, sula. I really wish we could just keep going because it does get more technical up there, but he's uh, he's not up for it. <laughs> but damn, this water is cold. So beautiful out here, guys. Check this out. By the way, if you guys are enjoying all these flowers, for those of you guys that know my dad and have probably seen some of my old videos, this guy has a crazy, crazy garden and selection of flowers in his backyard. So every time we kind of pass through, you know, a little patch of flowers, he's like, hey, let's check them out. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just in love with today's weather. I mean, today in general, just hanging out with my dad. And I know I said this like probably, I don't know, like five, six times already, but I'm not tired of saying it just because it's so good to be back. And like I said, to be back with my dad, I mean, it's just, it's crazy. Edible flowers, guys. I'm gonna try these a little later. See how good they are. This is what you call a true sustainable living right here. I mean, I do coastal foraging for those of you guys that have been watching my channel for a while. I mean, I go out there, you know, get clams and mussels and fish, but you can also harvest plants as well. And a lot of these plants, I'm not gonna say all of these plants because I'm not too sure exactly what's edible and whatnot, but um, my dad knows these are edible. So with that being said, Make it with egg. That's my brother says, so. <laughs> oh my God. Some webo and some flowers. Yeah. That's what you need to clean your system, guys. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Diarrhea for days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that concludes today's adventure. Dad, I hope you had a blast. It was, uh, it was a, lot, a lot of fun. It was, was exciting. It's, it's yeah. great to have you back. Thank you, Yoshi. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. And for all, the, all, the, all you guys that uh, prayed for my dad, this guy's here. You yeah, know, he... thank, thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, it was, you can feel uh, uh, um, that, that, that towel of the prayer. Yeah. When I was in the hospital, I, I, I literally, I, I, I felt the, the power of the prayer. Thank you, guys. So, as always, I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for always watching these videos, for keeping not only my dad, but my whole family in prayer. And uh, yeah, we're going to continue doing what we love, Dad, being yes. out here. Yeah. So, we'll catch you guys in the next video. <laughs> Peace. Bye. All right, so on the way back, we found a little friend that's been following us. Look at this guy. <whistles> you 
we try to help them we try to put them in a truck and drop them off at its local like I guess public area but uh, nope we tried feeding them fish trying to get them inside but uh, now he's just following us around and won't get in the car check it out Come on, let's go. Yeah, he's not. He's not cooperating with us. I don't know what to do. Come on. Come on. Let's go. He's following me around. But this guy just won't get inside and there's no way I'm gonna try and carry this guy in. Come on, get inside. Dad. <laughs> I have a good friend, new friend. Hitchhiker. This guy was being a brat. They didn't want to come in, but we couldn't just leave him out in the middle of nowhere. So we're gonna see if we can uh, find the owner in the local town if not then we're gonna have to take him to our house my house but we're gonna see if we can find this guy a good home or hopefully find the owner but crazy look at this girl she is not out what do you think should we keep her <laughs> i really want to it's kind of hard huh we do have a friend that is um, a follower on Instagram and a subscriber and he's going to be picking her up tomorrow. He has a big ranch, a couple acres. So uh, if somebody, you know, hits us up, hey, that's my dog, then it is what it is. But if not, then she's going to be going with him. And uh, I think she'll live a better life out there knowing that, you know, she's going to have a lot of land. She's going to have another dog, a couple other dogs to kind of hang out with. But uh, unfortunately with our situation right now, we can't have a dog. We have two dogs, well, three dogs. One at my house, my parents' house, and then we have two here. So no dogs for us. <laughs>